Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today, I am going to discuss about MUSE, that is Modified Early Warning Score. Let's move on to the topic. Modified Early Warning Score, MUSE, is a simple bedside scoring index that evaluates the patient's physiological state based on six viral parameters, that is oxygen saturation, respiratory rate, heart rate, systolic blood pressure, conscious level and temperature. The main purpose of MUSE is it improves early detection of critically ill patients and to prevent delay in intervention or transfer to critical care unit. For instance, if you are working in a ward, usually we check vitals every fourth hourly. There may be a chance we may miss to identify if there is any deterioration taken place within this time limits. So the MUSE score help us to identify if there is any changes in the clinical condition of the patient at the earliest and to provide the interventions on time. It's mainly applicable for adult patient and the parameters are oxygen saturation, respiratory rate, heart rate, systolic blood pressure, conscious level, temperature and urine output. Let's talk about MUSE. This is not uniform universally. It may vary from hospital to hospital based on its policies and protocols, but almost same. The main parameters are oxygen saturation, how to score if the patient is on any supplemental oxygen, respiratory rate per minute, heart rate per minute, systolic blood pressure, conscious level of the patient and body temperature. So the first parameter is if the oxygen saturation is more than or equal to 95 percentage you can give a score of 0. If it is between 90 to 94 percentage give a score of 1. If it is between 85 to 89 percentage give a score of 2. If the oxygen saturation is less than or equal to 85 percentage then give a score of 3. The next one is if the patient is on room air give a score of 0. If on any supplemental oxygen then go for a score of 2. The third one is respiratory rate per minute. If it is between 9 to 14 breaths per minute you can give a score of 0. If the respiratory rate is less than 8 breaths per minute, give a score of 2. On the other hand, if the respiratory rate is between 15 to 20 breaths per minute, give a score of 1. If it is between 21 to 29 breaths per minute, give a score of 2. If the respiratory rate is more than 30 breaths per minute, then give a score of 3. The next one is heart rate per minute. If the heart rate is between 51 to 100 beats per minute, give a score of 0. If it is between 40 to 50 beats per minute, give a score of 1. If the heart rate is less than 40 beats per minute, give a score of 2. On the other hand, if the heart rate is between 101 to 110 beats per minute, give a score of 1. If it is between 111 to 129 beats per minute give a score of 2. If the heart rate is more than 129 beats per minute then give a score of 3. Next one is systolic blood pressure. If it is between 101 to 199 give a score of 0. If it is between 81 to 100 give a score of 1. If it is between 71 to 80, go for a score of 2. If the systolic blood pressure is less than 70, give a score of 3. On the other hand, if the systolic blood pressure is more than 200, give a score of 2. So now you may think how comes 
the systolic blood pressure between 101 to 199 lies in the zero score or green zone. The main reason is, although hypertension is an important risk factor for cardiovascular disease, hypotension is the most significant in the context of assessing acute illness severity. It is also important to note that if the acute illness is due to hypertension or exacerbation of hypertension, then it must be treated on time. The next one is conscious level. So if the patient is fully alert, give a score of zero. If the patient is responding only to voice, you can give a score of one. If patient is responding to Painful stimuli give a score of 2. Not at all responding unresponsive then give a score of 3. On the other hand, if the patient has new agitation or confusion but alert, then you can give a score of 1. The last one is temperature. So if the temperature is between 36.1 to 38 degree Celsius or 96.98 to 100.4 degree Fahrenheit, you can give a score of 0. If it is between 35.1 to 36 degree Celsius or 95.18 to 96.8 degree Fahrenheit, you can give a score of 1. If the body temperature is less than 35 degree Celsius or 95 degree Fahrenheit, give a score of 2. On the other hand, if the body temperature is between 38.1 to 38.5 degree Celsius or 100.58 to 101.3 degree Fahrenheit, give a score of 1. If it is more than 38.6 degree Celsius or 101.48 degree Fahrenheit, then give a score of 2. So, the last parameter is hourly urine output. The monitoring of urine output is important in many clinical settings. The formal estimation of urine output is not always available at first assessment. Moreover, it is essential for some patients according to their clinical condition. So, it's been included in the MUSE chart just to highlight the importance of recording urine output been considered clinically appropriate to do so. As you all know that the normal urine output is 0.5 to 1.5 ml per kg per hour. So here if it is less than 45 ml per hour you can give a score of 1. If it is less than 30 ml per hour give a score of 2. If it is less than 10 ml per hour, then the score will be 3. Let's talk about mu score interpretation. If the score is 0, no risk, nothing to worry, you can continue the routine like fourth hourly vitals monitoring and the patient can be in the ward. If the score is between 1 to 4, the patient is at low risk, inform the duty doctor and check the vitals every 2 to 4 hourly and the patient can be in the ward. If the score is between 5 to 6 or 3 in any vital parameter, the patient is at moderate risk, inform the consultant and the patient need hourly vitals monitoring and the patient can be in the ward or shift out to intensive care unit it all based upon the condition of the patient and the clinical decision by the consultant. If the score is 7 or more, the patient is at high risk. Inform the consultant, intensivist, and the patient needs continuous monitoring. So better to shift out to intensive care unit. Thank you so much for watching this video. This topic is dedicated to one of my subscriber who asked me to present this topic. Later, I too realized 
this topic is very important i hope this would be helpful for you guys if you feel the same kindly like share this to your friends and subscribe my channel my channel name is jebin shine and don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever i am uploading new videos thank you all see you all again with one more interesting topic until then it's bye from jebin bye bye take care